Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another edition of Foul Mouth Fishing and the April edition of our Mystery Tackle Box. I uh, hope all of you out there are being safe, um, keeping your social distancing whenever possible, and uh, getting through this uh, horrendous pandemic and virus. Um, you know, as with a lot of the other um, companies out there, we are trying their best to, uh, you know, maintain people's work so that they're getting paid, but at the same time, uh, look out for the health and well-being of their staff. <clears throat> Mystery Tackle Box, thankfully, they're shipping. Uh, I did say in a, in a previous video that um, Angler's Hall wouldn't be shipping. Um, I did get an email, so I will be getting an Angler's Hall shortly. Uh, when it arrives, I don't know. It hasn't quite uh, reached in the post yet, but it has been built and it has been approved and it'll be coming soon. But in the meantime, we have a video for our Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition for April. Um, if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's a uh, subscription tackle uh, supply. You get a box every month. I go for the Elite, which is the highest tier. They have a standard, a pro, and an Elite tier. Uh, I get the bass-specific box. There's multi-species uh, panfish. There is a, a catfish box. They have um, uh, saltwater boxes, freshwater boxes. You name it, um, you can get a box that's designed to be in the style of fish that you happen to be an angler for. Um, not all box varieties come in the advanced tier, uh, but or in the elite tier, I should say. But um, you can certainly find them in the standard and the pro tiers uh, for, for whatever species you might be accustomed to, to going after. Everybody knows this. I'm going to leave the uh, link to Mystery Tackle Box with a couple of codes. If you want to save money on your first box, if you want to subscribe to the, to the Mystery Tackle Box system, um, have at it. Enjoy it. Try it once. That's all I can say. Try it once. You might be surprised. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not. Um, like everything, this is designed to throw you curves every once in a while, give you baits that you might not typically find in your store. For me, especially now with the situation of the, um, you know, most places being shut down and I don't do contactless, come to the front door, sit in my car, have them hand me stuff that I ordered online, that's not me. When I go to the tackle store, I want to pick up the hooks that I want to pick up. I want to look at them. I might change out and not get a 3 aught and decide, hey, I'm getting this. I'm going to buy a 2 aught for that soft plastic while I'm at the store. You can't really do that as easily as, you know, going to the store and physically, you know, picking it up. So this has been a godsend because I'm still getting baits while I can't go into my, you know, my academies and my dicks and my what have you because they're shut down. Um, that all being said, let's crack into it. Got your, you know, your measuring tape, social media, yada yadas. Um, all right. Okay, this is looking to be a little bit of a Guggen heavy bait box t today. So we've got, uh, ooh, tips and tricks for the 13 Fishings motorboat. So we have a 1-3 Fishing motorboat. Oh, there's a whole Headbanger Lures rocker head, Guggen Squad's Juicy Jig, the Duo Realis Namasi Gill, and the Vertical Lures Tuba X. So there's a card here. Uh, denoting different tips and tactics for a series of baits that I hope are probably in here. So we'll see. We'll see as we go along. Uh, each box comes with a Dibble's tips and tricks, little Dibble digest. Um, you know, just pro tips on things. Sometimes they have word searches. It says fishing slang, uh, prop bait tips, casting jigs, how to fish a casting jig. Uh, that's nice. And our what's in the box card. And today we have two, four, six, eight, nine baits. Nine baits in this box. Starting with a 13 Fishing Motorboat. 13 Fishing's Motorboat Hybrid Prop Bait. Uh, well, since this is the only thing in here with 1-3 Fishing on it. 1-3. 1-3 Fishing. Okay, so. We've got a little Shiner Minnow color with the white pearlescent over silver flake. And this is a basically a reverse prop. Like I'm used to spy baits. This is their 110 series. Uh, it's got a four and a quarter inch length, half ounce weight, with a five watt hook. And blatantly honest, one three fishing. I enjoy you getting into the 
into the bait game, stepping out of just rods and apparel and, and tackle and, uh, you know, reels and getting into uh, to bait making uh, and lure manufacturing, but, uh, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not buying this. It's a reverse, it's a spy bait, but it's a reverse. I mean, I'm, I'm accustomed to the nose being the prop, causing the disturbance, and then the fish is going to come up and catch it. Now, your distance here, with this flash and bubble trail and, and the vibration that's going to get off kicking, versus where the hook point is on this, no, I, I, I'm not feeling it. It would be better if this bait was trimmed back to where this little tail or this uh, fin was, and if, if maybe it was like yay long, and you'd be less likely to get short struck on that on that hook, but that's a fair bit of distance between that hook point of the plastic bait and this uh, this prop that they've got going on. Other than that, the soft plastic itself is awesome. I love I love the color scheme, and uh, very sturdy plastic and still supple and soft. So that's that's a plus. I like it. I'll give it a shot. I just don't have a I don't hold out a whole lot of hope um, for it. You know, like I say, it looks like it's going to be a, a bait that's constantly short um, on the on the on the bites. That is eight dollars and ninety nine cents for the one three fishings motorboat hybrid prop bait. Cool idea, cool cool design. Aside from its length is a little wrong, or put the prop on the front. You know what I mean? That's just that's just me. Just saying. Put that aside. Uh, next, Duo Realis, Nomasi Gill. Duo Realis. Duo. That's Googans. That's not it. What's this? Realis Namasi Gills. 56 millimeter, three count. Japanese Duo Realis. Little itty bitty soft plastics. So these are, as you can see by the little silver, you just hook them like you would be fishing a live bait. Um. But it's a little soft plastic gill. Again, $8.99. A little pricey, but again, we're, we're talking Duo Realis. It's a name brand JDM product line. Pop this open. So we've got these little tiny soft plastic three D style eyes. That is not bad. And you got your green pumpkin red flake there. You can see a lot of red flake. So that gives a lot of shimmer. And you obviously you fish it on the old mosquito hook. Hook from the top. I do like the eye design. It faces down. So you got, you know, as you're yo-going this up and down on a drop shot style. It's, uh, it's looking good. Three piece. Obviously made in Japan. So that's cool. $8.99 again. A little pricey for, you know, three small lower baits. But... That's going to go, I'll, I'll definitely use this probably in my micro fishing for like panfish, uh, more so than bass. Um, $8.99 for that. Next, also $8.99, so that's three in a row, $8.99. Our first Guggen Squad bait, this is the Guggen Squad's Hound. Hound, all right, so you got a walking, a walking bait, pencil popper, well, excuse me, not a popper, but a, a walking pencil bait. Let me, uh, of course... Tape it down like Fort Knox. All right. I do like the, the color scheme. Feather treble. Let's see, do we have a rattle in this? Oh, triple treble. And I'm sticking myself extra super sharp hooks. There is... There is a weight transfer in it. And it's got a rattle or two. So that's cool. Awesome crackle paint scheme design. Got the shad spot, chartreuse, and blue. Got those Guggen Squad double GIs or GSIs. Um, it does have a bit of a cup to the to the mouth where the hook eye goes or the uh, line tie is, so that might give you a couple of little spits. Not so you know dramatic. Feather trebles are always always impressive, um, so I'll give it that. That's not not too bad at all. I'm liking that. Not a big huge fan of Googans, but whatever. A bait's a bait to me. Names don't have a whole lot of, uh, you know, marketing is marketing. 
It could be the Scott Martin bait, or it could be the Guggen Squad bait. It's all pretty much the same. So this is a Catchco collab, of course. And again, this is the Hounds Walking. So, you know, you obviously you reel it, twitch, twitch, you give that nice walking bait, pencil bait action. That rattle in it is probably going to be very good conducive to, uh, to some top water strikes, especially we're coming up on warm water. Uh, next, from Headbanger Lures, this is their Rocker Head. Headbanger. That's a mustad. Uh, it's stuck in the mustad. Headbanger Lures Rocker Heads. So, what do we got here? We got a 3 8 ounce rocker head takes your creature bait fishing to the next level featuring a zinc based head, custom worm hook, easy to replace, smart wire eyelet. Uh, the headbanger rocker head gives unmatched erratic action to crawls, creatures, and lizards. So, basically we're turning this into... There's your, there's your hook, a 5 aught EWG, and it's got this cupped, zinc-headed weight. So basically, I have a lot of baits like this, actually. I have a couple of um, hooks like this, and they do work very, very well because it free swings, and this cup, you can, you can work this like a popper. You can work it like a, a standard jig. You can work this like you would over grass, like you would a chatter bait. This actually does work pretty well. Um, it does throw a different presentation than typically uh, most fish are accustomed to seeing just because of the freedom of movement that that this style of head has. Um, you know I have a couple of jigs designed with this same exact head. So here you can see basically the same thing. You've got your swim jig head and that cup on the front for that free free moving with the skirt. Um, I'm going to say this is definitely a winner. Um, unskirted or skirted, these, these actually do work pretty well. So I'm interested to throw that on. Um, these, the headbanger rock or head rock, the headbanger's rocker head are $7.99. Long day. Next up, Mustad's 1X Elite Bullet Jig Heads. So this is the Mustad that it was stuck to. So you got your Mustad Ultra Points. These are 5 watts. Uh, it's a 3 quarter ounce. Yep. 3 quarter ounce. And it's a 3 case. So you got 3 of these in here. And they're just your standard bullet, bullet head hooks. Now this has the built-in ring keeper into the lead pour. So you've got your soft plastics keeper. It's a double barb here with that um, bell style right in the middle. They do work well to keep soft plastics on, but once you thread on your soft plastic, that's it. It's kind of one and done. Learn to be able to thread it, put it on, and don't touch it. If you keep moving it, twisting it, pulling it on, pulling it off, it's going to just rip the crap out of the plastic and you're going to go through plastics a lot faster. Uh, learn to be proficient. Thread it on one time, the right time, the right way the first time, and uh, you'll see a lot more longevity when you have this style of keeper, uh, specifically. Uh, these are $6.99 for the 1X Elite Bullet Jigs. Again, 5 watt hooks. You're seeing a trend here. These are a lot of large, large hooks for large fish, huh? 5 watts, 5 watt. 5 watt on the motorboat, 5 watt on those. Eh. Uh, for $5.99, Vertical Lures X Tube. Vertical Lures. A company I'm not very accustomed to, never heard of before. Vertical Lures. I'm assuming this is their X Tube because it doesn't say what it is, it just has a Vertical Lures badge. And then the black back. Uh, super scented plastic, unique rattling chamber designed with success in mind. Rattling chamber. 
Okay, there is a there's a soft chamber for a rattle. I don't think there's a rattle in it, but there's a soft cha chamber inside. Hmm. Okay, and you've got yourself appendages. Okay, these are connected. So you got yourself basically like a tube style bait. Let's pull this apart, and these four four appendages. So this, to me, this is definitely, um, you know, drop shot, um, yo-yoing it up and down. You definitely want to pull this up and then watch it flutter because it's those appendages are probably what's going to give you most of the action anyway. Other than that, it's just your standard tube. So uh, definitely fish this like you would any other tube. I'm sure smallies and largemouth are going to love this. Um, again, black red flake. It's a good color. Definitely a good color. Stained water, that's going to work very well. And the Vertical Lures X tubes or tube X's are $5.99. Uh, second Guggen Squad bait. Guggen Squad's Juicy Jig. I've seen a couple of uh, you know YouTube videos of this. Obviously, the Guggen Squads themselves had this out. Uh, this is their 5 16 ounce jig head. Um, the thing that they do, they're not alone in it, but I do agree. That it, I appreciate it because it is something that I've done personally with some of my jig heads in the past is uh, they design their jigs they do a nice presentation nice stand up barrel bottomed um, jig but what they do with their with their hook guards with their weed guards is they they cove them into the head of the jig in a in a a u shape a horseshoe um, i've in the past i used to take a razor and i would cut the barbs off the back end and this would allow it to fan around and make it a little bit, you know, a lot softer and more apt to come down. So when the fish struck, it wasn't held back by this. I got better hook sets. Uh, and in doing so, to thin that out, it also made a nice U. And I always found that that allowed it to go through grass and um, mild brush, mild logs, mild, you know, small logs, small tree branches. It would hit and it would actually, because of the shape, it would roll the jig head off of that off of that cover and I'd get a lot less hang-ups on the hook and a lot less lost um, lost jigs in my opinion in my personal experience um, so I, I've always liked that shape of a cove rather than the soft square or the circle where it kind of just it's stiffer and uh, and it, it the stuff bounces hits it and then I get hang up hang-ups on the jig head um, this is a what is it, 5 16 yeah 5 16 ounce the color on this is blue crawl, blue crawl, and now we're into a four odd hook, slightly smaller. So that's a nice little finesse jig. Um, definitely use that. I think any green pumpkin trailer on this is going to give you that perfect blue claw, um, blue gill color. Um, that white and black with the little bits of blue and the the green pumpkin in it. I think that would just pop. So, and again, Guggen, good on you, Catch Co for putting, stamping that 5 16 weight right there on the actual bait head. Um, so you know what you, when you're grabbing these out of your tackle box, out of your bag, you know what you're getting. You're not getting a half ounce, you're not getting a quarter ounce, you're not getting a 3 16 you're getting a 5 16 You know it right off the bat. So that's a plus. And that one from the Googans, the Juicy Jigs, $4.99. Bruiser Baits Avenger, $4.49. Oh, and I got something in here I know. All right, so this is this probably is what they want you to pair for that uh, for that little jig. Although I don't know, purple's not really uh, my thing. So you got yourself a crawl soft plastic. Definitely got the anise licorice smell. Uh, spicy peanut <laughs> spicy peanut butter and jelly. They're calling this. So you got your PB and J. Um, this light kind of brown red flake and then the obviously the blue purple background for the grape uh, jelly peanut butter they call it spicy PB and J it's, it smells like anise so it smells like black licorice seven count full bag that's a good thing um, that's a not not a bad crawl creature bait that would be good for punching too I'd, I'd throw that on a punch rig and go through mats um, if you have a lot of mats on, on the surface of your water. So that bruiser baits 449. And finally, again for 449, 
And this I'm well aware of. We've got the Smart Baits Robbie Ribbon Worm. So, unfortunately, these are the smaller ones. I'm looking for a larger ribbon tail worm. But uh, for $4.49, it's only five. There's only five in here. I don't know. Seems a little light. But it's the Smart Baits. So, oh, stuck on the ribbon tail. Come on. Yeah, well, stop fighting me, plastic bag. There you go. So you got this nice off yellow, amber kind of color. Uh, we'll see. I'll hold this in my hand. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm hot headed enough today to uh, to get it to change color. So, Smart Baits are the color changing lures. They've got that uh, thermal reactive plastic or thermal reactive component to their plastics. Um, that's a $4.49, and these are, how long are these? I want to say they're, what, 3-inch? Yeah, 3-inch, three 3.5-inch three uh, worms. So you start out with this uh, kind of, like, yellow, and it goes to, like, a chartreuse green, I would suppose. Yeah, it lightens up to a, to a brighter chartreuse color, so in the hot weather. All right, that's not bad. Um, I'll have to uh, get some cold water in next time and, and keep on hand ice water and boiling water. And when I get these packages, if I know there's smart baits in them, I'll uh, be able to give you a side by side. Put one bait in the ice and one bait in the, in the hot water and you'll be able to see. But uh, there you, go. you can see the one that was in my hand is a little bit more yellow compared to the uh, more orange or, or natural color. It's more chartreuse coming out of that, uh, the one that warms up, so. That's pretty cool. Four dollars and forty-nine cents. So to recap, the One Three Fishing's Motorboat Hybrid Prop Bait eight ninety-nine, the Dual Realis Nemesi Nomesi Grill Gills, those little tiny uh, small gill baits. They're eight ninety-nine. The Gookin Squads Hound, the Walking Topwater. That's eight ninety-nine. Headbangers Rocker Heads. I like those style of baits. Uh, that's seven ninety-nine. The Mustad uh, Elite Bullet Jig Heads. Those are $6.99. The Vertical Lures Tubes with those four little appendages, $5.99. The Guggen Squad's Juicy Jig is $4.99. The Bruiser Baits Avenger um, Craws here, these little beaver craw baits. The, uh, the uh, Bruisers are $4.49. And finally, those last little rib ribbon tails we got, they're going to be $4.49. Um, again, I, I appreciate all you for watching, hanging out with me. This was kind of a surprise. I didn't expect it to, uh, to show up, but... Uh, oh. And our sticker. Gotta have a sticker. That goes up on the, on the wall of stickers up there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's nine baits. Uh, nine baits is pretty good for me. I don't mind that. Uh, I wish there was more of those little ribbon tails, or we got a larger ribbon tail. I'm looking for more like the six, eight inch ribbon tails um, for fishing for the largemouth. Uh, but I'll definitely use these in my little, my little small fish. Plano here with all my itty bitty little baits like these little these little nada lucky john's craws so when i'm going for tiny little pan fish with these little guys i can also throw out some of these little gills oh, no, and see what i can catch as always uh, i appreciate like subscribe share make sure that bell is on so that you don't miss out on uh, my giveaways, on my content, on my tips, tricks, what to's, how to's, how not to's, <laughs> and all the fun. Um, I Again, my heartfelt thanks to all of you who've brought me to uh, 500. It's a big goal. Uh, waiting for the contact information. We'll see. If he doesn't respond, nobody tell him. He's got to find it out on his own. But if he doesn't respond, uh, I'm going to give it away to somebody else. Um, so... We'll see. Tick tock, tick tock. Time's ticking. But somebody's going to definitely get that big bag or big box of goodies. Um, again, one more time, thank you all from the, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all of you tuning in and uh, enjoying our little show here. We're all one happy hookaholic family. And uh, without you, it would just be me talking to a camera for no reason. So I hope I instill a little bit of wisdom and sometimes just a little bit of uh, quick, you know, exposure to things and sometimes I'll give you hints and tips and things um, that's what I'm here for and if you have any hints tips tactics uh, 
tricks, favorite baits, favorite, uh, you know, freshwater, saltwater, it doesn't matter. Um, drop con comments. If you see something, one of my videos, and there's something in there and you question it, drop a comment. I frequently will go back in my videos um, and, and check over the comments and see what changes. I'm not always astute to jump on contents immediate, uh, context comments immediately, um, but uh, I try to keep that and, and come back to them and respond as soon as I can, uh, especially if uh, my response has weight and can answer a question or can lend a little bit of added information to whatever the question might be. Um, again, thank you all for joining me. Uh, stay safe. I hope you all had a happy Easter, and uh, take care. I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.